Angels, welcome back. I hope that you all had a really good week. Um, so update for this week, what happened? Um, well, on Friday we went for Hunter's jabs. Uh, his his first set, well, it's technically his second set because he had to have his tuberculosis one. Um, broke my heart, absolutely horrible. And then to top it all off, we come back from the, the doctor surgery with a stinking cold. So for me, on the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I was like laid up looking after him. And then for him on the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today, he's really been struggling. So um, it was a bit of a crappy, crappy week. Um, I was like, you know, getting humidifiers on. I was using saline nasal drips, trying to help and breathe this way feeding like really really hard um he's coming out there and oh i dipped the cot as well i did a thing where i could put the cot on the side he did that um so he's done really really well but it's just been a bit of a rubbish week bit tough um didn't do any classes didn't do any baby sensory didn't do anything just really focused on getting him better um so that was a week that that is the, the rubbish update really it was a bit of a rubbish week so what's happening next um i'm gonna go see my family on monday and see my mum and dad on the sunday which would be quite nice um it'll be very nice just get away a little bit and uh, me and hunter going um and that's it really um like i said the other day back on my cards having a bit of a dabble having a bit of a play um it's been wonderful to kind of reconnect back up with those energies reconnect back up with, with all these decks that are behind me waiting for us to get back off maternity um still planning on coming back off maternity in march time uh, but i will only be working one day a week so do stay up to date on social media and instagram because the space is going to be super super limited <coughs> it's the end of the cold super super limited so yeah that's it stay up to date social media facebook uh hunter is asleep at the moment you want to see Let's go. Let's go for a little trip. It's a bit dark in here. I've got the light off. Um, he's having a bit of a snooze. He's having quite a bit of a snooze. He's very, very tired. Um, but again, he's been poorly all week. So, all right, guys. I love you all lots. I will speak to you next week. Be totally blessed. Stay safe. Oh, and Imolk on to monday tuesday in milk oh my god like my favorite time of year start of spring in the pagan calendar um working with goddess bridey absolutely favorite time of year um great time for fertility and bringing in new um what you want from the new it's, a, it's the time of the lambing you know the time that the new lambs come time of growth and fertility and really setting out what it is that you want what you want to achieve and reap the benefits of it as the year goes by all right guys enjoy the lighter nights um and lighter days and the sun goddess coming back into warm our lives love you all ciao Hello my angels and welcome back. I hope that you have all had a really blessed week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is my top keeps falling down. Um, this week what we're going to be doing is, is it over between you and your person? So a little bit of a heavier energy kind of going on with you guys but don't worry we're going to go nice and gently if my top keeps staying up. I used to wear this when um, I was a bit bigger. And obviously, like, I lost loads of weight, and now I'll put weight back on with the pregnancy. All my old clothes are fitting me, and I'm like, oh, I love this top. It just doesn't stay on the shoulders. I think it's meant to be an off-the-shoulder one. But it's like, uh, there's a bump. There's a bump now. By the time you get this, it'll be a little baby. Um, Yeah, and it just keeps slipping off my shoulders, so I'll probably just leave it hanging off a little bit. Right. Is it over? Is it over? Deck number one and deck number two. Pick your deck. So go to the deck that you are most drawn to. And as you get drawn to that deck, think about your person and feel their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions for you. I want you to just visualise, sense and feel. And push it. Pick those, all those little emotions up and push it into the deck you are most drawn to. Number one and number two. 
So there's Cal they're both Celtic tarots. This is the Universal Celtic Tarot and this is just the Celtic Tarot. Both of my linear lineage, lineage, ancestors, number one, number two. Okay, let's do this. Deck number one. So let's go. Let's go. Deck number one. So what news have I got for you? I haven't really got any news at the moment, actually. <laughs> These tarot decks are absolutely phenomenal, though. I do I do love the old Celtic, uh, Celtic tarot, especially being Druid. You just get so drawn to this energy. Right, think about your person for a minute. Go into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number one. Wee. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Let's have a look. Is it over between you guys? I'm going to give up. I really am. It keeps slipping. Is it over between you guys? We have had a tower. You guys have had quite an eruption. Quite an eruption with your person. And there is a sense of loss now coming from this. Is it over with you and your person? Okay, I've got a song um, and I can't remember who sings it and it's quite a sad song and it's probably one I don't recommend you listen to if you're feeling a little bit low because it's going to make you cry. Um, but it says, you're a tower of strength when you're breaking down but through the walls I can hear you cry. If you Google those lyrics, you will find the song. Um, that very clear message from Spirit for you guys here that no matter how hard it is and how heavy you're feeling, they want you to know that they have got your back and that they are supporting you. I actually feel like I'm just going to pull one more to the side over here. Is it over? So we have this kind of very heavy energy going on with you guys. This very strong sense of grieving, strong sense of loss. Towers have hit. Things have gone really heavy. Things have gone really sad. Lots of probably breakups, arguments, heaviness, loss, grieving and yearning. Heavy, heavy energy happening with you both between you and your person as well it's not just you it's them as well both of you are actually really grieving the situation and like i said you're kind of you guys are worrying that this is over even though you know in your instincts that it isn't and you have that intuition that it's not over you've just got this kind of fear coming up from the situation that perhaps you know it has come to a bit of a close now your person is feeling exactly the same and there is a sense of fear over it all now it's really interesting if we look at the tower card over here we have this pathway still okay so even though this lightning bolt is hit and it's kind of crumbling down around you you still have a pathway of moving this connection forward and um, with the three of swords obviously this is a heartbreak and pain but again there is still a pathway that you guys can take okay so even though it's feeling very heavy feeling very sad there is still a pathway that you guys can take for this relationship to move forward your person does love you OK, they do have these really, really strong feelings for you. Um, and they, too, are feeling, you know, it, it isn't just your energy. They are also feeling very, very sad over this. And it's like they are looking at you. They are still thinking about you. They are still wondering um, how you are, wanting to communicate with you as well. So if you guys aren't in communication, I do feel that communication is coming in in the not too distant future. They've been a little bit on self-protect over it all at the moment. So perhaps when things, these towers were hitting, you might have felt that they just pushed you away or they didn't handle it right. Um, and the reason for that is because they too were feeling this heaviness and they were feeling this sadness as well. So both of you in this kind of sense of heavy, sad energy, the sense of loss. Now, what's interesting over here is we have two pages and a knight. OK, so all of these are kind of indicating movement towards you. So we've got the page of wands, we have the page of pentacles and we also have the knight of wands. So let's look at the pages. First of all, pages often symbolize these kind of messages coming forward or coming a kind of olive branch or peace offering. Now, with it being pentacles and with it being wands energy, this is suggesting that they're going to come towards you with some kind of bit more stable offer but also it's going to be perhaps a little bit based more on passion so when they this really heavy energy over here when this three of swords energy really kind of sinks into their teeth and sinks into their energy 
they are going to really miss you and this passionate energy actually this time isn't about sex it's sex it's about their passion for you so you have got communication coming through that is much more stable and based on their passionate energy for for you and it's coming from a place of loss you know um, and i'm hearing you know that sometimes we get this song you only know you love her when you let her go by passenger you only miss the sun when it starts to snow which isn't true actually because when it's really not sunny outside i always miss the sun i'm a proper sun worshiper but you have this energy coming forward over here of them reaching out to you now with the knight of wands over here this movement kind of coming in it looks to be quite quick movement it potentially isn't the movement that you're going to want so what i mean by that and what spirit mean by that is um that they're not going to really be talking much about their emotions they are going to be talking more about the connection and the passion that is between you both so this one they could come forward with a bit more of a sexual message it could come forward with a bit of a non-committal energy so we've got the these over here that i'm going to reach out to you i'm going to see how you are my passion for you is going to dictate this and i'm going to come to you you with a stable offer um and then over here we've got well i'm not going to quite commit to you just yet okay so we have this kind of mix up of energies happening between you guys um now the reason why let's look at why they're not going to come towards you with more commitment why 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 Okay, because they're going to be a little bit uncertain on how you're going to handle the situation. So they're not sure that if they get back in touch with you, you're suddenly going to be like, oh, hi, how are you? What's going on? I've really, really missed you. Or whether you're going to be like, why are you getting in touch with me? What do you actually want? We're over, blah, de, blah, de, blah. So this non-committal energy kind of coming forward here is kind of testing the water with you a little bit. See how you are, see what you're doing. Now, if you start talking to them about emotions, you'll probably find that they might back away from the conversation a little bit. They just want to check in on you and see how you're doing, okay? Now, this is a good relationship to start building on from then onwards, okay? Now, we've got the eights, we've got three eights. Do pay attention to 888. Some people say this is the number of great finances um, and abundance. Obviously, the 8 is the infinity symbol. If you flip it, flip it to the side. So with 888, you've got three infinity symbols. Triad. Triad. Progression. Okay. Movement. Things shifting. Now, with this, even though they're feeling a little bit stuck... And they will be feeling a bit stuck over the situation when they first come back towards you. You've got changes, 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 big changes happening within this connection. So a bit stuck, but it's in this stickiness that they create these changes. Progression route over here with your eight of pentacles and with your eight of wands, this is your movement and your shifting. And look at the beautiful fox on it. Look at the fox. I love my foxes. I have a spirit uh, animal that is a fox. Call it Pierdy. You also got the layers of OM and rooms actually around this as well. So this connection between you guys, um, very divine, very, very spiritual connection with your infinity, with your runes, with your OM, with your triads. Um, you have absolutely everything in this divine connection between you both. And actually the fox is on both of these cards. Very strong protector animals. I know people tend to think that foxes are sneaky, but actually when they are your friends... They are very strong protecting animals. When they're on your side, they're looking after you. They're looking after you, pack. Um, and so you have that energy coming forward from them as well. It's very much this longing connection, longing for you, missing you, creating changes of the energy between you both and shifting that along, progression, lots of progression. We also have the labyrinth over here. I have a labyrinth on my altar, I think. No, I can't show you it. It's got herbs on it. Um, <laughs> we have a labyrinth here as well. Walking pathways, okay? Kind of, the pa labyrinth is always a symbol that we're walking these individual spiritual pathways and where we kind of end up. And some of you guys, I don't know if you've ever, ever done it, but you can actually find local labyrinths to you and you can go for a walk. And I sometimes take one of my drums and I go and I, I drum around and I do the nice walking. It's kind of meditation energy um, to bring my vibration up and to see what I can learn along the way. And you have this in your pathway, okay? It's not about the destination. It is about the journey. It's not over with you guys. It's not over. It's a little bit asleep. 
Um, other cards that are coming up, you've got five pentacles, five of swords and six of swords. So with your fives over here, we have got a bit of chaos going on around you guys. This is kind of more of the present energy between you both. But when they do get back in touch with you, this chaos um, is likely that it could rear its head again. So just being a bit cautious of that um, feeling a bit lost. They're feeling lost over the situation. You're feeling lost over the situation with your five of swords there's a sense of betrayal sense of how this they've just stabbed me in the back and done a runner they've broken my heart they left me um, I'm feeling very alone I'm feeling very um yeah alone there's no other way to explain that so that energy kind of coming up over here when they do come back towards you do guys do get a chance to try again it's really important that you work together for this relationship to work um with the six of swords over here kind of saying at the moment in time where you are with your person it's actually quite good for you to have a bit of breathing space no matter how much it hurts that breathing space is kind of really important for the mists to clear with you guys and this card really reminds me of the mists of avalon one of my favorite films obviously avalon is like one of my favorite places anyway be a mist of Avalon okay so you've got all this kind of fog around the relationship but once you get to a place that is a bit nearer to you and them re-communicating reconnecting those mists will clear and you two will re-establish the connection so lots of movement lots of divine connections yes it is heavy and it is a little bit sad between you guys um but your person is also sad and at a loss with this as well and like I said, it, it really does more reflect a divine connection with you both. Sometimes with divine connections, it's, it really isn't about the love that the two of you share. It's normally circumstances or reasons why towers and things like that hit rather than to do with the love between you both. And that's really important that you do remember that. Okay, your person does very much love you. It's not over. Um, it's just a, it's just a very heavy energy. Um, you know, ride through ride through the heaviness of it all. Um, look after yourselves. Really important. Just keep focusing on yourselves for a little while. Feel that heaviness. Feel that sadness and grieve it. Push it right into the center, guys. Push it into the womb energy of Earth, guys. At womb, push it right into the center of the Earth. Let her transform it for you. Let her take that pain away from you. Okay, guys, but it's not over. Don't don't lose faith. It's not over. And that is deck number one. All right, my beauties, um, have a totally blessed week. I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon. Goddess blessings. Okay, guys, deck number two. Let's do this. Um, So let's find out, is it over with you guys? Deck number two. Think about your person for me. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, I was just explaining on deck number one that this top I used to have before I lost a load of weight um, and I've got back into it uh, through the pregnancy. But it keep, It's an off-the-shoulder one, but it keeps slipping down. <laughs> it is going to be off-the-shoulder, um, but I think I prefer it on-the-shoulder, actually, to be honest. But if it looks like I'm kind of undressing myself, it's not on purpose, it's just because the top keeps slipping. Right, think about your person for me. Can we get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? Okay, as I'm going into your person's energy, I'm getting um, Gwen Stefani. It wasn't Gwen Stefani. It was no doubt. It was Gwen Stefani, but it was also no doubt. Uh, underneath it all. You really love me underneath it all. Okay, is it over with the people and their people? people and people is it over with deck number two and their people i love both of these decks they're just so beautiful the energy on them is just absolutely phenomenal is it over is it over so i'm um, also with that i'm getting katie perry just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over and if you think it over, maybe you'll be coming over. I can't remember the, the lyrics for that, but I can hear that coming through my right ear as well. Is it over? Right. No, it, it's not. And in fact, you guys kind of know that. You're just panicking yourselves a little bit because it's come to a bit of a standstill. Or it's gone a little bit down or it's gone a little bit like, I'm never talking to you again. But it's all a load of bollocks because it isn't over. <laughs> it definitely, definitely isn't over between you guys. 
So your person actually hasn't really been giving you what you want from the connection. And this is why you're thinking that you're done with it. So with the Knight of Wands kind of coming over here, your person makes moves towards you, but it's not the kind of moves that you guys are looking for. You're looking for something that is a little bit more than what they've been giving you. There's great fireworks between you both. There's great chemistry between you both. There is a great connection between you both, but your person just isn't giving you what you want. And through that, you're going to find that maybe they're they don't reply to your text messages, they don't really um, correspond with you in the way that you want them to. And so you've got this little bit of tension happening between you both. And this is what's caused it to kind of go the way it has. And with the death card kind of going over here, this is where the relationship has kind of pushed it, put itself where it's moved towards. So there has been this like need to balance with the relationship. It has been a little bit of an out of balance. Things have been a little bit out of kilt. Um, potentially circumstances over here dictating why they can't commit to you. Um, those circumstances you will know about. So that could be that they're with someone else or kids or just awkwardness. Um, there is a reason, okay, but you will know for that. Um, and if there isn't a reason, then it is just kind of coming down towards them not giving you that commitment that you want. And I will look at that in some, some separate cards. So the need for balance kind of coming up with this connection. Let's have a look why they haven't committed to you. Why haven't they committed? Okay, because they're scared of love. We have this love energy coming forward. This person does love you. Very, very strong feelings of love going on uh, with you both. But they're quite frightened. They're frightened. And we have this helix energy coming up the top, as we know. Always talk to you about the helix, the more divine connections, how you wave in and out of each other's life. We also have the crow symbolising the Morrigan goddess and with death over here. Definitely this transformation happening within this connection. Your person has been a little bit scared of transforming their life. So where they have been, they're a sucker for change. They don't like changing. They don't like creating changes and they don't like making choices and decisions, which means that they are potentially feeling backed into a corner or pushed into a corner. They don't like it. So what they do instead is they just back away from you. And it gets to that point where you get really frustrated, not surprisingly with them. And you're thinking, well, you know, why, why aren't you moving things forward with me? What's going on? Have I done something wrong? Or is it all on you? And so it makes you doubt the relationship. And when you try and talk to them about it, you probably met with a few brick walls or them being a bit of an asshole. And um, you're just met with this kind of energy of, well, I don't really want to talk about it. I've got enough shit on my plate. I'm not sure that I want to communicate these energies over towards you. And this is what puts it at this stance where you are where you are. However, that being said, the connection is definitely not over with you. All right, we've got the King of Wands, we've got the King of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Cups, we've got the Ace of Wands kind of coming forward as well. So with your King of Wands and your King of Pentacles over here, we have a very passionate energy between the two of you, a little bit sexual, if you can look at the seat that he is sitting on. Sexual chemistry, sexual connection, potentially why they haven't been committing to you as well. And with the King of Pentacles over here, this is talking about stability and security. Now, the reason why that's quite interesting is they know that you have these feelings for them. They know that you kind of, don't take this the wrong way, but dote on them in a sense. Like you can see she's kind of rubbing his feet, all right? He's sitting on his throne, she's beneath him, she's rubbing his feet. And your person quite likes that. They like the way that you make them feel. I just got a song, it's the way you make me feel. Can't remember who sang that, but I've got that coming forward as well. They like that and they look to the future of that and they see you as potential wifey or hobby material. They see you in that energy. It's just that they're not quite ready to commit to you at the moment because they're not ready to change their life. So it's got frustrating and that's why you've ended up where you have. Now with your Ace of Wands and your Queen of Cups over here, their emotions for you are very strong, open communication coming forward, passionate new beginning. Cauldron over here, again, cauldron of transformation. This relationship can transform between you guys and you can get what you want from it. Absolutely. Uh, with the sun as well, your happy endings, happy outcomes coming forward over here. Ancestral knowledge as well. Spirit are saying lots of energy between you guys from past lives, from this life, from past lives. Really bringing the connection of the two of you strongly together. Also a sense of innocence going on over here. Your love is a pure, pure essence. Pure essence of love. Now, that transformation can happen with you. That transformation is likely to happen with you. But with the Seven of Wands over here, we have this little bit of jealousy and conflict coming up, okay? So 
at the moment you've got fed up it's kind of come to a bit of a stalemate nothing really happening you probably decided to take a step back your person is going to transform that connection with you and you've got this potential for a future and it will work out between you guys however history can repeat itself and it is something that you need to be aware of with this seven of wands energy over here so if there's kind of been issues of trust or disharmony or discord um, I like that word discord. Spirit just said it really clearly. There is a need for forgiveness. OK, with the white rose on here symbolising forgiveness, there is a need for forgiveness with this connection as well. So it can move forward in the right direction. But this forgiveness is all about stuff that's happened between you both in the past. All right. And again, it's all stuff that you know of. It's these kind of flippant emotions. It's this pain. It's this um, I said this and I said that and you did this and you did that. And you have that pain that kind of comes from it. And that's what causes this conflict and tension. So when you can work it out, which you will do, you just need to be fully aware of this, that this need for forgiveness has to happen between you guys. Because your person, they just haven't handled the situation very, very well. Can you tell me about this need for forgiveness? Fears. Okay, lots of fears coming up with you guys. Lots of worries and doubts and concerns over it all. The love between the two of you is really strong. And when... You know, people think love and hate are total opposites. It's actually, that's a misconception. Love and fear are total opposites. Total, total opposites, love and fear. So when you have these very strong emotions, which you and your person do have for each other, you also have these senses of fears. And you might find that at night time, you're overthinking, overdwelling, thinking about stuff that's happened with you guys in the past. This very strong pain kind of coming from the connection with you both. And it's coming from these fears, okay? So... Forgiveness, talking things through, really important. I would have a look at doing some forgiveness meditations, if you can. It looks like you're probably going to have to say your peace first and foremost before you can feel the need to forgive them, which is totally fine. Totally get that. Um, but you will have the opportunity to say your peace with them. You will have your opportunity to voice your opinion on how they've made you feel. Um, and you will have to listen to them in return, because obviously it takes two hands to clap. You're going to have to listen to them in return and listen to how perhaps you made them feel as well so that communication has to happen with you guys openly all right um it can work out it can work out with the sun kind of coming here we know that this is a very strong connection and it has very happy endings for you both so you just got to keep progressing and moving forward love heart emotions passionate new beginnings it's all there for you it's just that the relationship has to go through this period of transformation so even if it's come to a bit of a close at the moment it's come to the close so that the transformation can occur with you guys and you can get what you want how beautiful is that so no it's not over i actually really like deck number two it's a good reading it's a really positive reading um it just needs that period of transformation Okay, angels, that is deck number two. So have a totally blessed week. I love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon. Ciao, my angels.